Back again, hunting for more jewelry brands to spend money to save you guys some bread. Today I purchased a Cuban link chain from a brand called WeGotDeals.com. Now I've seen this brand around for a couple of years to be honest with you since I started my channel. And the website is very minimalistic, like they have authentic pictures. What I mean by authentic pictures is generally most websites have these photoshopped pictures that you see and you're like, yo, this shit looks super fly. And then when you get it, it's like, that's not what I saw or it looks completely different. Now, for me, I don't feel like those pictures are super photoshopped, but we will be able to tell the difference right now. So this chain was approximately 150 bucks and it's 925 silver, vermeil or plated. But is it any good? Is it handmade? Is the lock gonna be trash? Or is it a new hidden gem website with options for you to check out? Let's roll my motherfucking music so we can check out the Miami Cuban link that I got from wegotdeals.com. kind of a big deal. Blessing morning, my beautiful peoples. You know who it is. It's your boy. See to you to the B to the A. The influence dad hat is on MrCubano.com. This is the Cubano Loco. This is the dad hat. We've got a couple of different varieties. Merch, sweaters, hoodies, the whole spiel. Go to MrCubano.com for all your Cubano needs. This is actually my boy's hat that he bought off of me that I'm rocking for the day. So now it's certified pre-owned. We got deals.com. It's still in the packaging. I haven't opened yet. You know I like to do the first impressions to let you guys know my true thoughts on the process as soon as it came out. Now with the holiday, the shipping wasn't that long. It was slightly over a week, so that's pretty dope. Apparently this is coming out of Miami, so getting a Cuban link from Miami gives me some hope. And that truth be told, I highly, highly doubt this is going to be handmade. Why? Because of the size. This one in particular is only four millimeters, 925 gold plated, and it's supposed to sit at 24 inches. Now they do have sets available on the website. Not all pieces are 925 base. They do have some regular, I believe, stainless steel and other options, as well as some religious pendants in the affordable space that might be interesting to you guys. Now, it's always struck me as a very hit or miss type website based on the pictures because the pictures seem so realistic, like non-edited, that you're like, oh, I know I want this or I know I don't want this. With this one, it was kind of like, hmm, I'm curious to see it in person. So I went ahead and coughed up the 150 bucks for a four millimeter, which is super duper small. And we're gonna check it out right now. So I just took it out of the mailer and it comes in just a very standard cheapy little jewelry box. No big whoop. Uh, this is so fucking small. Little packaging and little Asian style bag as I like to call them, these little jewelry style baggies. Four millimeter is super tiny. If it looks bigger on camera, don't be fooled. The shit is small. Ridiculously tiny, but I knew that going in. So the first thing that I'm looking at is the box lock, which surprisingly is extremely different from others and it matches the size of the chain, but look how small this thing is. I don't even know if they can, can the camera, look how tiny this joint is. I gotta give credit where credit's due. The box lock matches the links. I'm, I've never seen a box lock. Usually it's a little bit bigger of a box lock outside of the normal Cuban links, but this isn't bad. This definitely has an Italian machine made feel to it. Not handmade at all, but it doesn't look bad. Here's some up close shots of it. Obviously it's a little gappier than a handmade piece, but most people don't make four millimeter handmade cause it's just too annoying for them. So this is definitely machine made. What's extreme, this box lock is so, so different. I truly have never seen a box lock like this before. It is super duper tiny. Now I'm curious to see how these tiny, really ridiculously, like, these little things cannot hold any kind of tension, but we'll see. Listen, I, this is a, a nice surprise. I'll tell you that much. Uh, wow, that's, I'm just shocked. All right, so let's see. Use the pinky. Good tension. Look, wow. I still can't get it off. That's, that's great. That's great. So I still can't get it off. Holy shit, they squeezed the fuck out of this. Wow, I'm, I'm impressed. One, this is one, got it off. Okay, let's try the second one. Less tough, but it still had a good pull. The, the tongue is where we're, mm, we're gonna see. Okay, super, 
duper small. Look at this shit. Look how fucking tiny this is. This is like Gerber baby box lock. Let me see if it has any kind of snap. I don't know if the mic can pick this up. Nah. Yeah, the tongue is weak. The tongue is weak. I mean, it's so tiny. Yeah. yeah I knew that was gonna happen. I mean, it's just inevitable. Like, yeah, it doesn't have a proper snap in the tongue. Most of these will have that. Yeah, it's not gonna have. You can obviously pull up the tongue and create some tension. Just literally pick up the back of the tongue, little button, pick it up a bit. So it doesn't feel super cheap, the tongue, to be honest with you. Like, it feels okay. But this is gonna happen. Silver and these types of box locks are kind of notorious for having a, a pretty shitty tongue and tension. But pulling it up, putting it up, it had a good, decent pull. Here we go again. It holds up, just pulling it up, getting a little tension. Figure eights is what? Very impressive, good sound. You know, this is not as horrible as I really thought it was going to be. It's just an Italian Cuban with a decent plating on it. I'm gonna look between the links just to see if there's anything missing here. I have a strong feeling that this is Italian. So usually the Italians knock it out of the park when it comes to the jewelry space, so I'm not gonna hold that against them. And something this size, nobody's making handmade, so I didn't expect it to be. Very clean, very Italian, the most unique, tiny, uniform box lock that I've been able to see, only built for Cuban links. You know what? Not horrible. The price point, mm -hmm. 150 bucks is still 150 bucks, but not complete shit that I was anticipating I was gonna throw into the garbage. I thought it was gonna be some real whack Chinese shit with a horrible lock. It turned out to be slightly surprising. So I'm gonna open up the figure eights again. Still got good tension. Yeah, this, this one lock is, this one figure eight is surprisingly tough. Look at this shit, wow, man, I'm, I'm gonna bend my fucking nail back. This is not bad. Still, there we go, not fucking bad. I think I broke a fucking nail. All right, let's try the box lock one more time. You know what? Not horrible. We'll do the hang straight test for all those who like the hang straight test. On this one, it's definitely gonna have some sort of twist. When they're this small in this light, it's tough. All right, here we go. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a twist, but it's not even that bad. It's straight, 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 right here. It starts having a slight twist, because again, it's so light, but I mean the slightest twist, not that diesel. And then the box lock on the bottom kind of faces forward. So that's where the big twist is because there's a lot of weight on the box lock as opposed to the actual chain. Let's see what this puppy weighs. Okay, weighing in at 24 grams, not too bad. The advantage of having a box lock like this, very small, is the variety of pendants that you'll be able to throw on it will be substantial. If you have like 925 gold plated pendants, you're gonna be able to do a good variety of pendants with this small chain and this tiny, tiny box lock. So that might be an advantage to some of y'all. Now we're definitely gonna do a quick neck profile of the piece. We're also gonna throw a pendant on this joint just so you guys can get some variety. And just keep in mind, when I buy these joints, I don't buy them under my company or under my name. Everything I buy, my friends buy for me and then I pick it up from them just so there is no favoritism or this was just made just for me or whatever. So it's never coming to me. Now there is some sort of stamping I didn't see. It's super small writing. Uh, all right, so it is stamped. 925 with some other writing there that I can't see. I'm getting old. 925 BS. Bullshit? What's BS? Bonded? Is it a factory? I don't know. I'm gonna put this joint on. Let's get a quick neck profile. Again, this four millimeter is gonna look a lot larger on camera. Keep in mind, it is very tiny, but neck profile. Now what I wanna do is throw on this gold plate dependent by Jackson gives it a little color and dimension and see how that fits in, fits in perfectly fine. And these are usually not anything that you would be able to put on a Cuban. Decent enough to be able to accommodate this joint. So let's see how this would look with a pendant. The selling point here is that this little box lock with this Cuban can give you pendant variety and stacking. So I definitely see that as an advantage. Now this lock is so small that it is a little tough for it to marry and click into place. And there we go. Nice little accent piece. I like that you can put a pendant on it. Maybe this might be something that you wanna stack with some other pieces and finally have a Cuban that you can throw a very cost effective, smaller size pendant on it. 150 bucks is a little bit more expensive than I would like to pay on these type of pieces, but it is a very interesting and completely unique box lock with strong figure eight clasp, the actual male and female portion, 
Uh, you'll have to tug on it to give it some tension. I don't know how long it'll last, but all silver pieces share that same sentiment. We got deals, not too bad at all. Let me know what you guys think and if this is a website that you'd be interested in purchasing from. I love y'all mother suckers from the heart and I'll see y'all bitches next time. You know who it is, biggest in the game. Smooches. For the fly gun holder, money folder, roller roller, star tag when it's time to call back. For the rough, rugged, and raw way, this nigga Jay, it's a game, but he don't play. Hey. For all the chicks that got dead in the penthouse, sweet on top of my mom's crib. Hey. It's long since you never get in. It's long since you would think that you would. <laughs>